you need to. I am AJ Dungo, and I'm going to draw a surfer and a wave. I didn't have a lot of time to do the book, um, so as an independent comics artist, you're, you're drawing, you're writing, you're doing the penciling, you're doing the inking, doing the coloring. I had to find a way to do it creatively, but also limited. So I, I obviously just picked two, two colors, and then each of those kind of grounded the reader in which timeline they're in, because my book kind of jumps around a lot chronologically. I had done a sort of historical um, project based on a surfing pioneer named Tom Blake, my publisher. They saw that work and they were like, you should make a book out of that. You should do something about the history of surfing. And as we were working on it, they decided like, actually you should inject um, a personal aspect to it. So I, I was challenged to do both. I mean, it took a while for me to even um, agree to do it that way because I didn't know if the story of my partner Kristen's life should be shared with something else. Maybe it deserved its own um, its own time, its own um, formula. Eventually I decided like uh, this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity to do a, a book, you know. I always wanted to make comics and and uh, write a book. I didn't think it happened so fast. Um, but yeah, absolutely it changed Change. I mean, here, I'm here talking to you guys, and I'm drawing and being recorded. Like this uh, wouldn't have happened if I stayed at my job, you know. I've never been to Hawaii. I've read a lot about it, and Hawaii is just—it's—it's it's something. It's a place that's very special historically, um, culturally, especially in terms of surfing. I mean, going into this project, I was very wary of. Um, you know, in an age of uh, appropriation and people taking advantage of other cultures, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do their culture as much justice as I could, you know, and I know that it's not my place to tell their story, but I I just did my best from the research that I, I did. And the way I write is I just, I write and I write and I write, and then I kind of whittle out anything that's unnecessary or things that don't seem like prevalent to the story. When I was writing, I I think also out of fear, I I tried to stay ambiguous and sort of detached. But the more that I opened up and, and felt I could share, the better the book became and the better the reaction became from my publisher and others that were reading it. I like things that are concise. I like art and writing and poetry and music. That's That has like a that says a lot with a little bit. I realized that uh, I could tell a story or tell, um, talk about a moment without actually talking about it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys.